Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl Mandy here, and I have an exciting video as per usual for you guys today. I am going to be giving you all the details, all the information that you could possibly want to know about eyelash extensions. This is a thing that everybody's talking about, everybody's interested in, at least from my experience. I know a lot of girls have questions about it, a lot of girls are interested. I know I had a lot of questions about it, and I was really interested before I got my eyelash extensions, so I looked up a ton of YouTube videos to try to get more information, and I did find them to be helpful. But I just wanted to come on here and share with you guys my personal experience with eyelash extensions. I've had them for about a week now, so not that long, but I am so excited about them. I have had such a great experience with them so far that I wanted to come on here and share with you guys why I love these eyelash extensions so much and why I highly recommend them. I'm also going to be sharing with you guys some products that I use to maintain the eyelash extensions as well as answer any frequently asked questions um, about eyelash extensions and I'm just getting those questions from online um, and I know that those are questions that a lot of girls want answers to so I'm just going to come on here and give you guys my honest feedback, feedback opinion and answers um, based off of my personal experience. So without further ado, let's hop into it. First thing you're probably wondering, what are eyelash extensions? Eyelash extensions are basically synthetic little hairs that are supposed to be curled up, and they are lashes, basically, um, and they're synthetic hair lashes that are glued to almost every single one of your individual lashes. Not every single one is has a lash on it, but almost all of your eyelashes do um, if you go to a good place that knows what they are doing. So that is basically what eyelash extensions are. They're supposed to uh, give you naturally looking longer lashes, um, and they are a more permanent version of fake eyelashes. Um, and they are glued onto your natural eyelash. So they are not glued onto your eyelid. None of that crazy stuff. It's glued halfway down your natural lash is where they place the synthetic hair lash on your lashes. And before I get into my experience, I know you guys are probably wondering this, so I'm just going to show you close up and personal what they look like. Um, I know hopefully in my thumbnail I'll have a picture um, of them close up, but I'm going to show you guys just in case. So this is what they look like with my eyes open and looking at the camera. And then, oh, uh, this one's a little, yeah, there you go. And then looking up, and then eyes closed. So that's what my lashes look like up close and personal, so you guys have a better idea of how they look. Um, I went for a more natural, wispy, thin kind of lash look this time around, um, and I want next time when I get mine filled, um, which I'll talk about all that stuff too, um, I plan on getting the thicker lashes because I want a little bit more volume and my lashes to not be as thin. However, I do like this look. It's very natural, very nice, and definitely a good place to start. Like, I didn't want to get the volume lashes right away and then, you know, not know what the natural ones feel like. So I'm kind of glad I started off small and then I can, like, work my way up um, in terms of lashes. Um, so yeah, this is what they look like. Very, very pretty. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. Um, yeah, I know that lash looks like it's about to dip into my eye, girl, but it ain't. I promise. Um, but anyways, so, yes, let's talk about the experience. So, I went to a place where, um, when I got my eyelashes done, for a full set, it took two hours for the initial set to do my full, whole entire lashes. And that's because, the reason why it takes so long is because they are literally gluing on synthetic lashes to every individual lash. Almost every individual lash. Not every single one, but like basically almost all of them. So that is why it takes so long to do. Um, but I've heard of places that have even taken three hours, so it really depends on the place that you go to. So this is just my personal experience with the place I went to, so your experience might be different. 
Um, but yeah, so it's two hours for a full set, and then for a fill, it's about an hour. So that's kind of the time frame I was given from the place that I got my eyelashes done. So that's that. Um, and then you're supposed to get a fill at the place that I go to every two to three weeks. Get an eyelash fill, so you go in and get it filled. Um, and you're probably wondering, like, what do you do for two hours while they're doing your lashes? You can take a nap. You can just, like, chill, basically, with your eyes relaxed and closed and just talk to the person. Um, because I got my eyelashes done by one of my really good friends, Megan, um, I literally was just, like, relaxing, listening to music, chilling, like, trying to stay, like, calm and relaxed, because, like, you really can't have your eyes, like, moving or going crazy, like, you can't be opening them, um, while she's so close to your, uh, eyes, so you do need to keep them closed, um, if you do need to open them at any time, just let your esthetician know that you need to open your eyes, um, just to see or do whatever you're gonna do. Um, so yeah, that's personally what I did during my experience, and honestly, the time went by so fast, but that's also because I am really good friends with my esthetician, who also happens to be a good friend of mine. So the time can go by pretty quickly, and especially if you nap, like, it will go by super quick. Um, other information about eyelash extensions is that after getting your first set, or whatever, or after getting them even filled, like, you really cannot... Um, get them wet for 24 hours after getting your eyelashes done. So you really should come prepared and showered beforehand. Um, yes, you can wash your face and stuff, but you have to be really careful not to get your lashes wet so you can like use a little face cloth type thing to wash your face. Um, if you need to wash your face later in the night, that's exactly what I did. Um, but I came showered right before, like I washed my hair the whole nine yards. So if you're worried about that, just make sure to shower before you get your lashes done because you cannot um, get them wet for 24 hours after getting them done. And this is what she tells me. Um, another thing about lash extensions is that you should not be applying mascara to your lash extensions because if anything, that's really going to just clump your lashes and mess with them and you really, like, do you, you really need mascara? I mean... Like, look at that. Like, you, you really don't need mascara with lashes. Um, and I think they look so much prettier and better without mascara. Um, so I highly recommend not doing that because you can't take it off. Like, you really can't without taking off the eyelash extension or your natural lash. Um, because you're rubbing to get the mascara off. Because mascara is very stubborn and hard to get off, and we all know that. So imagine doing that with eyelash extensions and your natural lashes. That's just going to pull them out and it's going to ruin your lashes. So I highly, highly recommend not applying mascara with lash extensions. Um, yes, in terms of other things, um, you can rub your eye. You can't, no, you can't rub your eyes. Like you can go like this, like put your finger across, but like, you can't, like, rub your eye like this in the morning, um, and I know that I used to do that a lot, like, waking up in the morning and stuff, like, I'll just do it out of habit, um, but they really advise you not to do that because you will rip out the lash extensions from being aggressive with it, and that will, again, rip out your natural lash, um, but another thing that people are concerned with is that they're going to damage your natural lashes. Honestly, they will not damage your natural lashes, um, your lash extensions fall out with your natural lashes, so when your natural lash falls out, off, that's when the extension falls off. The eyelash extension does not pull the natural eyelashes out of your eye or damage them or whatever. Um, so you don't have to be concerned about that if that's something that you are worried about. Um, your la not, your natural when your natural lash falls out, that's when it will fall out, and it shouldn't fall out any time before then. Um, and another thing that people commonly think is you can't sleep on your side because you'll mess up your eyelashes. Honestly, I'm a side sleeper 100%, and I have not had any problems with, like, you know, sleeping on my side with eyelash extensions, and it has not messed them up at all. Um, maybe it's a little, like, you know, 
not perfect, obviously, because you were sleeping. So you just honestly comb through the lashes when you wake up first thing in the morning, and you're completely fine. So for anyone that says you can't sleep on your side and you can only sleep on your back, that's not true. I'm a side sleeper, and if the girls that do your lashes do a good job, you should 100% be able to sleep with them. Another thing that people think is that you can totally feel the lashes on your, like, lashes, like the synthetic lashes, on your natural lashes, and that they're su it's supposed to be heavy or whatever. People are worried about that, um, being able to feel them and stuff, but I can tell you 100% that I do not feel these lashes on my <laughs> natural lashes at all. Um, are they longer? Obviously they are, and so I can tell the difference when I look at myself and whatever. Because that's the point of eyelash extensions. Um, but they're so lightweight. Like, I do not feel them. I do not feel like my eyes are weighed down in any way, shape, or form. I just feel like they are my natural lashes. Um, because they are basically my natural lash with a synthetic lash just glued on top of it. So, it's supposed to not feel heavy. It's supposed to feel light and normal, and you're supposed to not even notice that they're on. So, except, obviously, when you look in the mirror or whatever. Um, so, yeah. And another thing, last thing before I show you guys the products and answer some questions, is that you can wear glasses with eyelash extensions. I highly recommend trying on your glasses and showing your esthetician before she puts the lashes on. Um, so that way you can figure out what length is the best for you and what length is going to work for you and your glasses. If anything, you might have to wear them a little bit further down on your nose so they're not like so super close up to your face. Um, but honestly, it shouldn't be a problem. I wear glasses and it's not a problem. I can even show you guys if you're interested. Gotta hydrate, girl. So... These are my glasses. <clears throat> They're perfectly fine. Um, they hit a little bit on the lens, like when I blink, see? They hit a tiny bit, but not by much. Um, so if I'm afraid of them hitting and I feel uncomfortable with that, I just move it a little bit slightly further down. I can still see perfectly fine. They are still perfectly comfortable. Looks good. You still notice the lashes, and it's not uncomfortable in any way, shape, or form. Um, and I actually require these glasses to, you know, drive and for distance and things like that. So... I knew that I had to make sure that my lashes are going to be comfortable enough that I can get away with wearing these babies, you know? So yeah, that was something that I did, and I showed my esthetician before she did my lashes um, how the glasses fit on me. So now I'm going to show you guys some products um, that you can use to help maintain your lashes. Um, so first things first, your esthetician should give you a little goodie bag with some little tools to fix your lashes um, and I brush and fix my lashes two to three times a day um, so I fix it first thing in the morning when I get up I fix it halfway through the day if they got screwed up by anything like the wind or whatever um, and then at night before I go to bed so those are the times that I tend to fix my lashes um, so basically, what they give you is this little tiny thing. <laughs> I don't know what to call it. It's like a pick, um, and it has that little fuzzy white ball on the tip. Um, and what this does is this helps separate the lashes so you can put them into place. Um, and I really like that because that helps, you know, detangle the lashes. Like, if there's a clump at all, um, that helps prevent them from tangling. Like, see right here how it's a little clumped. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. So you can like kind of like play with them like, you know, separate them as you want. And then this looks like a mascara wand. It basically is a mascara wand. Um, and all you do is you use this to just brush through the lashes. So I can show you. You just use this to brush. Yeah, just brush through the lashes. So, this you use to brush through the lashes. I'm going to brush through this one. It's 
Also, your eyelash extensions should not hurt, and if they do, then you need to go back to your esthetician right away. So if you have any experience any pain or hurting of any kind, then you should do that right away. Um, another thing, so like I said with this, um, you know, try to brush your eyelash extensions pretty frequently, but do not brush them when they are wet because you can risk pulling out the eyelash extensions. Um, when they're wet. So wait till they're dry. Like if you just come out of the shower, wait till your eyelashes are dry before brushing them out if you want to brush them out. Um, but I do recommend brushing your lashes morning and night. I think that it makes a difference. Um, and whenever, you know, you notice that your lashes aren't looking the way you want them to look, then I highly recommend just brushing them out. That's the biggest thing. Um, because that's basically, you know, you putting on mascara for the day instead of doing that you're brushing out and taking care of these lashes. Um, and I don't remember what I was going to say. I lost my train of thought before. Um, damn. Okay. Maybe I'll come back to it later. So, um, for other products that I wanted to show you guys, um, I have this little mini mirror, and it's by Mew, and it's from my friend Nikki, so shout out to you, girl. Um, I have this little mini mirror that I like to keep on the go when I'm on the go and like if I want to fix my lashes at work or something, I just pull out this little mirror so I don't have to run to the bathroom every time and I can just look in the little mirror and get like a close up look at my lashes and you can just go through and brush it and you can just throw this in your purse like it's so small that you can just throw it on the, in your purse on the go um, so I really really like that. Um, another thing that I like to use, um, well, well, this is what I'm going to use if I wear eye makeup, which I haven't worn eye makeup yet just because, honestly, I usually on a daily basis just do my lashes and foundation and I'll fill my brows. Um, so I haven't worn, like, eyeshadow or anything, but when I do experiment with eye makeup, I plan on using these little guys here. So... You cannot use any makeup with oil or skincare products that are going near your eyes that have oils in them because that will make the glue not as sticky and it will make your eyelashes fall off. Um, and there are two different types of glue. There's the regular type of glue for the lashes and there's also the sensitive eye glue. Um, I highly recommend the sensitive eye glue. That is what I did because I know that my eyes get watery and sensitive easily. So I didn't want to put any like super harsh chemicals near my eye if I can avoid it, avoid it, avoid it, avoid it. So I went for the more sensitive glue because I just didn't want my eyes to react badly to the regular glue and because I just have sensitive skin and things in general so I just didn't want anything to happen. So if make sure to ask your esthetician if they have sensitive eye glue. Um, and if they do, I highly, highly recommend using it because that's what I'm using. Um, so like I said, no oil. You can't use anything with oil, any skincare products or eye makeup products or anything near your eyes or lashes that has any oils in it because that will make the lashes fall off and that will make the glue not as sticky. So what I have for eye makeup remover um, for when I'm wearing like eyeshadow and eyeliner and stuff is these Alme eye makeup remover pads and they are gentle and oil free so if you guys are looking for a good little eye makeup remover pad type thing then I highly recommend these because they are oil free so just make sure whenever you buy like makeup remover for your eye makeup that it is oil free because if it is not then you can risk your lashes falling off so highly highly recommend um, and then you can still use, like, regular makeup remover for your face makeup as long as it's not obviously close to your eyes because I know these little pads are annoying to, like, take off your face makeup. So I still use my regular Neutrogena makeup remover cleansing towelettes. I still use these for my face makeup and my brows because that's not eye makeup and... I don't know if these actually have oil in them, but I it does not say oil free on them, so I'm not going to take the risk and ruin my lashes when I know that this Alme one is oil free and they are little round pads, so it's going to work a lot better anyways. 
So those are the things I use to maintain the lashes, so it's not too much, not too bad. Honestly, a lot of girls make it seem to be more high maintenance than it actually is. Um, other things, like in addition to, you know, rubbing the eyes, you can't be doing that. Um, splashing water directly in your eyes or on your lashes or face, um, you shouldn't be, like, having any water pressure directly on the eyelashes, so, like, in the shower, um, like, don't put your face under the, under the, whatever it's called, the shower head, um, because the water pressure can damage the lashes and risk them falling off, so you can't be, like, doing stuff like that, but you can still get your face wet when you wash your face, like, you can still, like, splash water gently here, 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 just don't, try not to be getting your lashes soaked all the time, um, because that's not good for them. You can, however, I believe, um, have your eyelash extensions and go to the beach and, like, swim in the ocean and, like, pools and stuff, and that's fine, but, like, when you're washing your face, just be careful because, like, you know, when you dry your face after your lashes are, like, soaking wet, it's just gonna get them tangled and stuff, too, so, like, you just have to be really careful and just mindful, um, of those things. So if those are habits of yours that you really feel like you can't quit, then maybe eyelash extensions aren't the best idea for you. But honestly, like, they are not as bad and as high maintenance as I thought they were going to be. And I am so happy about that and relieved because I feel like I've heard from so many people that it's so much maintenance and it's so high maintenance. Um, the only downside I would say is that, you know, it is expensive. Um, luckily for me, it was 25% off eyelash services, um, at the time when I got them, so that's what really, really made me want to get them sooner. I've wanted eyelash extensions since I graduated from college, so it's been a really long time coming, and I've thought about it, I've done my research, and I thought this is the perfect time because they're on sale for 25% off at the place that I went to, so I thought, why not try them out now, see if I like them, and, you know, keep going for the future. Um, and... It's also not bad for your eyelashes to have eyelash extensions, however, your eyelashes do need a break, so it is important to have, like, a little bit of a breaking period, but also it's nice for your wallet, because, like I said, these things are not cheap, um, but you can find deals like I did and get the 25% off. Um, originally, I would have paid $250 without the 25% off. With 25% off, I got the full set for $187, which is honestly such a deal compared to $250, so I was really happy and relieved that that's the amount that I paid. Um, like I said, pricing is different everywhere that you go, but uh, just to give you a general, just an idea of how much they are, um, normally fills are about $83, but with the 25% off of services for lashes, um, and that goes till the end of February, um, with the 25% off, it's going to be 65 for a fill. So that's pretty awesome. I'm pretty pumped and excited about that. Um, and I am paying with my own savings for the fills and such. And my mom was kind enough to gift the full set, my first full set, to me as a Valentine's Day present. Even though I was planning on paying for it myself, she offered to um, pitch in for me. So... The rest of the fills and things and maintenance, I'm going to be paying for myself. But, yeah, it's a choice that you have to make. You know, are you financially able to do that? Is this something that's going to be too much of a commitment? Things like that. So these are things you can think about. But, like I said, I honestly do not believe that eyelash extensions are as high maintenance as everyone cracks them out to be. Um, and like I said, you do need to be getting your eyelashes filled every two to three weeks at least at the place that does mine, so I'll be going back shortly to get them filled. Um, and like I might have mentioned earlier, my eyelashes are very wispy and more of a natural lash. That's what she was trying to go for, just because she wants to get me used to the lashes first. Um, but I think when I get my fill, I'm going to go for a little bit of a thicker lash because I want a little bit more volume and not as thin of a lash. Um, so a little bit thicker of a lash and more volume, um, but I do love the length of these lashes, so that's awesome. Um, so I'm going to answer just seven frequently asked questions about eyelash extensions. Um, do eyelash extensions hurt? 
No, they don't. And if they do, like I said before, if your eyelash extensions hurt, then I really recommend you go back to your esthetician and make sure that they fix them because something's wrong if it hurts. Um, my there's a little three little eyelashes that got stuck together um, somehow in my set, and it was starting to like get hard and like hurt a little bit. So I actually went right into my esthetician and I told her about it and everything and she said the reason was they were tangled, like, stuck together. Like, three lashes were stuck together with, like, some glue or something. And one of the lashes was trying to fall out, like it was growing out, like about ready to fall out, and that was pulling the other two lashes that were attached to it, so it was very, that was what was causing me to feel uncomfortable, um, and what was making the lash seem hard, but as soon as she put the remover on the lashes, that lash that needed to fall off fell out, and the other two lashes untangled <laughs> completely, so if you ever have a problem, you should be more than welcome and happy to go back to your, um, lash specialist and esthetician, and they should be able to fix that for you. Um, do eyelash extensions look fake? I mean, they don't look 100% natural. I mean, no one really has lashes that look this long naturally, and if they do, God bless. Um, but I don't think that they look like strip lashes, like those types of fake lashes where it's all one length. Those definitely look way more fake than these. Um, they're a bunch of different lengths, um, depending on your natural lash length and strength. So I think I'd like to think that they look a little bit more natural than the strip lashes and other fake lashes. So I would say that they do not look that fake, but you can definitely tell that they're not your real lash, if that makes sense. How long do they last? Like I said, two to three weeks for my lashes from my place. But like I said, every place is different. I already shared the prices with you guys. Those are the prices from my place. They do not damage your natural lashes. Like I said, when your natural lash is ready to grow out and fall off, then it does that. Um, and, you know, it doesn't do any harm or damage your natural lashes. Like I said, no mascara with eyelash extensions. Please do not do that. Your esthetician will be upset with you because that is the number one thing that they tell you not to do. Um, and you can wear eye makeup with eyelash extensions, but it does, again, need to be oil-free makeup, so it can't have any oil sort of components. Luckily for me, I use a lot of mineral makeup, so that's not a problem. There's not a lot of oil in mineral makeup, so I think it'll be fine in terms of eye makeup as well as face and other stuff, so I lucked out in that sense. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you have any more questions for me, please leave them in the comments down below. I would love to know what you guys think of the lash extensions. And if you want more information, then I will provide you with that. And if you want to see more of me, make sure to subscribe. I love you guys so much. And I hope you have a good day or night whenever you're watching this. I love you so much. Bye.